In this video, I want to provide an introduction to the law of iterated expectations, and I also hope to provide some intuition behind the maths. So mathematically, what the law of iterated expectations says is that the unconditional expectation of a random variable y is equal to the expected value of the expected value of y given some other random variable x. Okay, so that's just the mathematical statement of the law of iterated expectations. What does it actually mean? So in order to speak about what I actually mean by this, I'm going to use an example. And the example which I'm going to, I'm going to use here is we're looking at the level of IQ within a population. And specifically, what we might be interested in is the average level of IQ within that population. In other words, the expected value of IQ. And what we could do is we could work out the average level of IQ within a population by summing over all the possible values which IQ can take and summing over a sort of weighted sum of those levels of IQ times the probability that IQ takes on that particular value. In other words, this second quantity here, which is the probability, is the proportion of the population who have that particular value of IQ. So what we're doing here is we are taking the population as a whole and we are taking a weighted average of the level of IQ across the entire population. In other words, we're taking the unconditional expectation of IQ. So that's one way of working out the average level of IQ within a population. Another way would be to break it up into subpopulations. So what we could do here is we could define those individuals who are male and those individuals that are female. And what we could do then is we could work out the average level of IQ given that an individual is male. So that would be the expectation of IQ given that an individual is male. And we could also work out the average level of IQ given that an individual is female. And then to work out the overall unconditional expected value of IQ is we could take a weighted average of these two terms. And that's what the law of iterated expectations tells us. And let's go through this just to prove that that's actually the case. So in this example, what we're told is that the expected value of IQ, the unconditional value of IQ, which we get from our law of iterated expectations, is equal to the expectation of the expected value of IQ given an individual's sex. Well, what does it actually mean to take an expectation of an expectation? Well, essentially what it means here is that we need to sum over all the different values which this variable sex can take on. So what we're going to do is we're going to sum over gender and what we're going to sum over is the probability that an individual's sex actually equals that particular value of sex and then we're just going to multiply this by the expected value of IQ given that particular value of sex. So if we actually do this sum, what we find is that we find that we're going to have the probability that sex equals male times the expected value of IQ given that an individual is male plus the probability that sex equals female times the expected value of IQ given that an individual is female. And that is exactly what we would expect intuitively, right? Each of these probabilities, this first probability, the probability that sex equals male, represents the proportion of the population which are male. The probability that sex equals female is the proportion of the population which is female. And all that the law of iterated expectations tells us is that in order to come up with a overall average level of IQ is that we need to take the sub population levels of IQ, in other words, the expected value of IQ for males and the expected value of IQ for females, and combine them together with their relative proportions and then add them. And that makes intuitive sense.